I've been interested in nuclear science uh, from the time I was 10 years old. Uh, I've been doing nuclear science and I really enjoy it. It's an incredibly powerful tool um, to really make our lives fundamentally better, whether it's in medicine or the production of power or these industrial applications. And so it's great to be here and talk about some of those applications. No, I mean, I was very excited to come here. I mean, this is definitely what I love to do. So it's great to be at a place like the IEA that has this goal of supporting uh, these kind of technologies. You know, the advantage of a forum like this is it gives you the opportunity to reach out to all the member states of the IEA and they can take back these techniques to their home countries. And, you know, it's for me it's an event that's about, you know, the transfer of not only technology but ideas and knowledge. And that's the thing, you know, if you, if you are a developing country, you can take these techniques back, uh, you can take the technology back and begin to use them. And these are incredibly powerful techniques, so, you know, I think it really, really can make a difference. You know, the advantage of radiation technology, these nuclear techniques in industry, uh, are many, but, you know, they allow you to do things that otherwise would be expensive or time-consuming to do in a very inexpensive and, and, and quick manner and without the use of harmful chemicals. Uh, everything from the processing of materials and making new materials to, uh, you know, uh, things like uh, sterilization of medical instruments. You know, these are all these really cool applications of radiation technology. You know, when it comes to nuclear technologies, uh, you know, people fundamentally don't understand it at its basic level. And I think if you think about, you know, what we fear the most, we fear what we don't know. It's fear of the unknown. And so the more we can educate about these techniques, you know, nuclear techniques are uh, certainly in some ways can have dangers, but um, they're just, you know, an understanding of the fundamental, you know, uh, nature of matter. And that can be used for good purposes, it can be used for bad purposes, but in many cases, especially the industrial applications of nuclear technology, uh, it in many ways is a positive. It helps save lives, it reduces the use of things like harmful chemicals, and uh, it contributes to making our lives better. Well, I mean, look, I think as a young person, science can be an incredibly exciting thing, right? It's incredibly exciting to explore the unknown and have these tools for changing our lives and that's that's really exciting but for young people to have the interest develop they need to have the opportunities to go out see the science in action meet scientists get some hands-on experience and if they do that that's how you light that spark of innovation right that's how you give them the inspiration to say oh I want to pursue science as a career, correct? So it's one of these things where, you know, all it takes is a spark. Well, I mean, I've been interested in science pretty much as far back as I can remember. And I think, you know, look, science is making a career out of what you do as a child, right? Being incredibly curious about the world around you. And so I always had that curiosity. I always wanted to explore, uh, explore the unknown. And eventually when I was about 10 years old, the nuclear spark hit me. I decided that nuclear science, basically understanding matter on its most fundamental scale was what was really exciting to me and also I think really powerful, right? It was an incredible tool for making these innovations that really improve our lives. And so I realized, you know, I was passionate about it, I enjoyed it, I kind of had a little bit of natural talent too, and it could make a difference. And so it was the right combination of things, and I've been doing it ever since. There's always something new to learn. I, I certainly think that's true for, for, you know, my entire life. I think that's the advantage of science is you don't know everything, right? And so that's the great thing, like an international forum, that you have a great diversity of ideas and backgrounds. And that's where some of the greatest innovations or discoveries come, when you have people from different backgrounds thinking about a problem, thinking about a field or, or, or an idea. That's when the innovation happens. And so the very interdisciplinary nature of something like this is, is, is I think, really great.